Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got another video for you guys. Today is a video you guys probably didn't want to hear about, but you guys probably were expecting. And I got a lot of you guys saying in the comments, what's going on with the E46, so did you figure it out? A lot of people actually even DM me on Instagram because they just are too excited to see what happens to the E46. The truth of the matter is, unfortunately, um, we did a compression test with the engine and found out that five cylinders are very low in compression. The F30, um, PSI, and it's five of the cylinders, so I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, so now it's in there. You click this, that releases all the pressure, it's at zero. I'm gonna go crank the engine, tell me how much PSI it gets up to. Now if I put it into the other one, you'll see how low it is. But as you guys can see, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. So unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to start parting out the car. And actually, in these past two days, I've been doing that. So since the last video, that same day, I was starting to do a compression test. And um, yeah, that's what I found out. And I've been parting it out ever since. But this is the good news. And this is why a lot of you guys who are hating on me are saying, why'd you go ahead and buy another $500 project? You could end up losing all your money, all this stuff. Remember the last build? Truth of the matter is, guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I've parted out so far. And I'm also taking off the rim. So the rims, I don't know if I showed you guys had a lock on it the lock wasn't with the car and every single wheel had five locks on it so you guys know it's not easy to take off locked lug nuts unless you have the key so I went ahead and bought three keys off eBay and luckily a uh, two out of the three actually fit so I'm gonna be taking off the rims off that car putting on my car because of new Michelin tires they're pretty nice rims we'll see how they look see how I like it wash the car you know see how that is probably leave the car in jack stands take off a couple more parts and then send it to the junkyard and get the full um, profit so yeah, I said profit because I've already made profit, guys. Basically, car was $500. I sold around $650 worth of parts in the last two days. I'll show you guys what I sold. So here is the car as it stands. You guys probably are like, what? just happened um, I know I, I, I should have caught you guys up with this should have had a time-lapse but um basically sold the front bumper sold the driver's fender sold the hood um, sold the air box sold the power steering fluids the tank itself as well I sold a part of the frame this whole front end by itself got me around 450 and I'm parting out the interior as well and I'm at already $20, I think $40 for the, I think I got $40 for the side mirror. If you guys look at the interior, it's a mess. I took out the airbag and the radio. I haven't sold those yet, but um, I sold the center console that was on like 80. Uh, just a couple miscellaneous parts, the odometer for like 60. And you know, it, overall, I, I think it went up to $660 is what I added up in the garage. Yeah, so $660 is what I got off the car so far. And that is insane. That's without selling the battery, the rims, anything in the rear end, the quarter panel or the interior. So it's actually a profitable business. If you guys are young adults and you guys want to make some easy money, go buy a car for like $300 that doesn't run a good straight body and part it all out. And guess what? In the end, if you have, if you have the pink slip with you, you can actually get it to the, um, the junkyard and then give you a lot of money just for the frame up to it's like 200 to $400 just for the frame. So I'm going to be showing you guys the truck coming to pick it up. I'm going to be selling it with, I'm going to be towing it without the rims or anything. I'm actually going to take off the rims right now because I love them. I'm going to put them on my car just to see how it is and take my car, wash it. Um, but yeah, guys, basically, 46 unfortunately this is the end to this one but a lot of you guys want to see more of it so what I'm gonna do is buy another one but manual so manual e46 I'm gonna be on the lookout for that if you guys have any good um, you know if any good links uh, try to keep it as low as, as a budget as possible I want to fix it up I want to swap out parts from this one to the next one so even if it's in very rough shape just keep it as good as possible runs and drives manual link me any year as long as it's an e46 um, I might even consider some E36 M3. I'm a little bit sweaty right now because it's super hot outside, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Basically, as you guys already know, um, gotta get another car, probably an M3 E36 or E46 manual, um, either one of those. And then after that, uh, you know, we'll go on to that project. But for now, guys, in about a week, we're gonna start wrapping my brother's car. I think in three days, I have my appointment with CHP for my brother's car. And then after that, I'm gonna be wrapping it, show you guys how we wrap it, all that stuff. Putting on the, uh, we got a couple parts for the body. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of good stuff coming up. I just wanna let you guys all know it's not the end and I didn't lose my money for you haters that are saying I'm gonna lose my money on this E46. I made money and I'm making more money. So, bam. All right guys, as you guys can see, um, the tire does have a little bit of wear but still in really good condition. 
Um, I mean, yeah, that's just a little bit of there. I mean, it's a little bit of a, you know, because the car is a little bit lower. But I mean, the tread is super great, but it's super dirty. So I'm gonna clean up the rim. I don't like driving it like this. Alright guys, if you look at the car, the car is officially on its jack stands. Um, I'll show you guys down here on jacks and uh, it's covered. I don't want to, you know, upset the neighbors. So here are the rims. You got all the rims right here. That is the rim of my car. If you guys look, these are the rims that I had on my car. I mean, these are like my original rims. I'll show you guys the other side. This is the new rim. For some reason, it looks smaller even though it's an 18 inch. It just looks smaller. If you look over here, I don't know why, I just, I like these a whole lot more. I just feel if I powder coat these, they just look beautiful compared to like these guys. Um, just not really feeling it to be honest. Even the tire tread, it's Michelin, but it's not sporty. It just doesn't, if you look at these, they're just like, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice setup to be honest. I'm just gonna have to clean them up. Uh, I'm gonna take my car for a car wash right now because it's super dirty if you guys can see that. Um, yeah. I always complain about what's cold, what's hot, and it is so hot right now, guys. But basically, I checked out the rims. To be honest, it's not really my taste. I don't really like them. For some reason, it looks smaller even though it's 18 inches. And the wheels, the tires are just thicker. I just don't like it. It even raises the car a little bit. My personal taste, I don't like it. Turned out really nice on the E46, but not on my car. I might save it for my next E46, or if I sell them before then, whatever. If you guys do like the rims, make sure you hit me up on my Instagram. But um, right now, I'm just gonna be washing my car and making it look mint because I hasn't had a wash in like probably three weeks. Alright guys, just finished cleaning up the car, but something I noticed, I heard my car scraping the other day, and if you guys look down there, my weather guard is like sticking out, so I think what I'm going to do is just cut that off, because I already have zip ties for the rest of it, and that should, um, you know, fix my little grinding issue, because I hear, I hear sometimes like, the car scraping on the ground, but there's no way, it's not that low, so I found out what it is. Alright guys, I just got the piece off, um, and we are good. Alright guys, so I just cleaned up the cars, I'm a mess right now. Um, you know, I checked out the rims, not the best, and at the same time showed you guys that, you know, you can make money even if the project doesn't end up working out. So I could have done an engine swap. You guys are probably going to tell you, why don't you just do an engine swap if it's just the engine. The thing is, it has a lot in back fees. The guy lied about the car. It had over $800 in back fees. He said it was on non-op. I took it for the benefit of the doubt. Turns out there's back fees. Turns out the engine's blowing, and who knows? Could be the tranny too. So I don't think I really want to deal with this car, to be honest with you. I made my money's back, and now I'm just trying to make profits so I can get to that next build. You know, when a car is so cheap and you just want to just, you know, work, just, just have fun with it, you know, you can learn on these type of cars. You can make money at the same time. And for me, in my case, I can make content out of it. So it really works out in my favor. Um, I'm going to end up getting the car to a junkyard. I see how much they give me for that. Probably by next week. If you guys want any parts off the E46, since you guys are my sub, you guys can pretty much have it for almost dub because I already made my profit. I don't mind. Um, you guys just hit me up on Instagram. Um, and yeah, so much giveaway soon. Thank you guys for 10K. See you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember to stay humble. Shawty hit my line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her la habibi, that's too hard on my life. Where they are? I was raised with some mileage. Everyone got a friend named Abi. I'm from OT. Six one three.